Guys, today I will show you 6 secret NPCs that you probably missed in second C. But even if you didn't miss them I will explain and tell you how to get everything they offer so watch till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments down below how many NPCs you haven't seen before. First NPC is located here at the Kingdom of Rose. He is called Aro and he is known as the V3 Race NPC. He is located here where the Diamond Boss spawns. In order to talk to him you need to have your race, any race, evolve to V2 and you have to defeat the Swan Boss. Here is the hidden wall that you can go through and here is Aro. There are 6 races in the game and for every race Aro will give a different quest. I already did his quest so he doesn't give me again. But yeah, here are the quests for every race. You can stop the video and read them all if you need to smile. Now on to the next NPC. Next hidden NPC is at the Snow Mountain Island. A lot of people know him but he is hidden so he still counts as a secret NPC. So go to the side without quest giver and follow where I go. Here is the entrance. Here is the NPC. He sells the superhuman fighting style. But first you have to have 300 mastery on Dark Step, Water Kung Fu, Electric and Dragon Breath. And then he will sell it for 3 million Peli. It may seem a lot but trust me it's really worth it because it's in my opinion best fighting style in 2nd C, especially if you grind with Buddha. So yeah. Third NPC is at the green zone. He is called Mysterious Man and it's a bit difficult to get to him. That's because he is located at the top of the highest this green thing on the island. There he is. And what he does is he sells the true triple katana sword. But first you gotta have 300 mastery on Shisui, Wado and Sadi swords. And then you can buy DTK for 2 million Peli. In total it costs 8 million if you count the previous swords that you need to buy. It's good sword but it's not the best so in my opinion it's not worth it to grind. But of course if you want it get it. Now next one is located at the ice castle. It's not exactly a NPC but more like a item but it's hidden. So enter the castle and follow where I go. Here is the entrance and here is the chest. In order to open this chest you need to get a hidden key which you can get from Awakened Ice Admiral. And with that key you will open this chest and get the Rengoku sword. Rengoku is decent sword in my opinion so make sure to get it. Also here is the another secret NPC in this library. She sells death step fighting style. But the library door will be locked for you so in order to open it you have to get the library key which you can get from Awakened Ice Admiral. So yeah, on to the next one. Here we are at the hot and cold island. To be honest I didn't know this one for a lot of time. So come to this hot side and follow where I go. Here is the hidden entrance. This is the room for starting the order raid. But if you complete the cyborg puzzle then here there will be a staircase leading you to an NPC that sells cyborg race. If you want to know everything in detail check out this video where I explain it. Also the next NPC is connected with this one and he is pretty close. He sells the microchip required for starting the order raid for 1000 fragments. Enter here. There he is. So just talk to him and he will sell you the chip. I won't buy it now because I need fragments. And the last NPC is located here at the Kingdom of Rose Cafe. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't know that here is an entrance leading to these two NPCs. They are color and title NPCs that will allow you to change your hockey color and title. But of course you need to obtain the color and title first in order to be able to change it, or you can buy it with Robux. Also in this same room there is this NPC that will change your awakening moves, but you have to awaken your fruit first. And that's about it guys. If you found this video helpful leave a like and a sub, you can always change your mind. Also if you want to know first see hidden NPCs then check out this video. And as always thank you so much for watching and see you soon.